the U.S. officially hit the debt ceiling. Here are three money moves you should be making now to protect your wallet. Shalom, Yasha Allah. Peace, Israel. Call her lawyer law. Allah Hayanawa Abanawa. Yahawa Bahasham. Yahawa Shai Bahasham. Racha Hakodash. I am the brother Khasa Gadol from the Camp Province of Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I would like to go on and give double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and root well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutation to the hopeful elect, the house of David that is scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth that are laboring in this truth with all sincerity. Shalom. And Barak a thumb to the Akwati and the few sisters that are listening and learning in. Straight to the point, let's get into the lesson. All right, it's in the news. It is in the news. Okay, so now this is a, a, a article I found. All right, it popped up on my news break app this morning. Once again, <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, I advise all brothers and even you few sisters that are listening and learning in, all right, to download the news break app. Okay, make sure you have it on global. Make sure you have it on um uh fox news all right the war okay the war as far as russia and ukraine taiwan and and, and uh you know in china and so forth man because it gives you and make sure you have it on news that's going on in your city man all right but real quick before we get started i want to bring out this quick priest uh baba kasha all right let's go to the book of habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now the reason for this precept is because we have been telling y'all, man, all right? The prophets have been telling y'all, starting from the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, that the U.S. dollar is about to collapse, man, okay? And what's going to happen when that U.S. dollar collapse? These people out here are going to go absolutely ballistic okay i just did a video yesterday going into how um two days ago everybody from bank of america who had bank of america their accounts was coming up negative with negative balances man okay they was talking about it was something to do with zale all right but all in all that's just them testing their little ways of how people are going to react to this new digital currency when the dollar absolutely fully collapsed man okay in that vision, all right, when you read up, let's go, let's let's go back to it. Let's go to Habakkuk chapter two and let's start at verse two, and then we'll read back down to verse three. It says, And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables, that he may run, run that readeth it. Right, he may run that readeth it. Okay, now we're not physically saying run, but what we're saying is you may uh write the vision. The vision would be what? This vision of these end times that's coming, man. Make it plain upon tables, okay? Make it plain upon tables. Make it, make it uh, visible. Make it noticeable. Make it, you know, understandable for the brothers and sisters out there that's listening and tuning in. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. What is that vision? The vision of the end, all right? A lot of end time prophecies are happening right now, okay? When you go to Matthew 24, starting at verse 6, all right, on down, okay, it tells you... Um, it goes in to talk about the rumors of wars, okay? Exactly. Those, those, those are those are those those visions, man. The rumors of wars, the pestilence, all right. The earthquakes in diverse places, uproars, sedition amongst men, okay, and so forth and so forth. And there's still major privacies to come. Well, one of them being the M O T to the B, okay. That is one of the next major prophecies that we are looking forward to which will actually be here very soon, man. This guy, Kyle Schwab, just had another interview or had another, um, uh, yeah, he had another interview going into how you people are going, to, are, 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 are going to have nothing and be happy with it, man, okay? So this damn devil is actually telling you people that you're going to be absolutely, you're going to be okay with this new world order, man, going into Revelation 13 and 15, all right? Would he have power to give life unto the image of the beast? And that image of the beast should both speak and not lie and cause that as many that should not worship the image of the beast should be killed, man. 
Okay, roughly paraphrasing that pre-sub. Well, but, but we'll grab that. All right, so let me read a little bit of this article, man, because I want y'all to see. It says the debt ceiling is the max. The debt ceiling is the maximum amount set by Congress that the government can borrow to cover its bills. It says on Thursday, the U.S. government officially hit the 31.4 trillion debt ceiling, man. So that means what? They're no longer going to be printing this paper money, man. They don't have no more to print. You see? Then it goes on and it says, translation, the government is cut off and no longer able to pay its bills without taking extraordinary measures the united states runs a budget deficient which means it doesn't generate enough money from taxes and other revenue sources to fully fund its operations man right because why when they gave you down when they gave you jakes all right when they gave the people of of of, of this world those stimulus checks all right those pandemic reliefs all right these people was hitting for these ppp loans all of those things put america further in debt on top of all of the all of the money that they was um giving out for this war man okay you had biden not too long ago sign a a i would think it was a 280 or 380 billion chi to the p deal okay to start getting those those uh those karagmas made over here man right because him, because United States and China are no longer dealing with each other when it comes to trading, all right? And now China, you know, China had got rid of the U.S. dollar. Now they're going on to their yen dollar, which is actually a digital currency dollar, man. You see? That's why I read that pre-sub in the beginning. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, man. The vision is being made plain upon tables. You see everything right now that the scriptures are talking about going on right now, man. You see? Let's continue on. It says, in order to fund those operations, the U.S. issues debt to continue to provide service to its citizens and fund expenses, says Wes Moss, a certified financial planner and managing partner of Capital Investment Advisors in Atlanta. So what does this mean? Lawmakers have a few months to reach an agreement before the U.S. defaults entirely. Damn. They only have a couple months to make an agreement before the U.S. defaults entirely. That means before the U.S. completely collapse and get rid of the U.S. dollar and roll over their digital currency, man. Okay, so let's grab this next pre-sub, man. Let's go down to this. All right, real quick. Revelation 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time, man. Right. So uh, right now is not the time to be trying to still build a career. Right now is not the time to be trying to go to school. All right. Talk about you want to be in the medical field, okay? Or talk about you want you you want to be the next the next ball player or the next damn rapper, okay? Because the only thing that goes on in that in that in that Hollywood bullshit. It's nothing but bullshit, man. Bunch of lies, deceptions, satanicness, okay? Satanist shit, all right? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Who dwells in the heavens, man? The Lord, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels, man. Who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ and God, okay? The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, dwells in the heavens, man. So therefore we should be rejoicing. Why? Because we have a power to serve. We have a power that as long as you are serving Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, that you shall be saved, man. But you must endure all the way to the end, okay? Because times is going to get very, very rough out here, man. When there's no money flowing, when you can't work, when you have a, when, when your only option would be to take the karagma or, or uh, go off grid, you got to be willing to go off grid or if it's coming or if it or if your options are take the karagma or go to a FEMA camp or prison or even death, which will be the guillotine. You got to be willing to die for the Lord, man. OK, because the devil is about to come down having great wrath, man. Great anger, great destruction. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. Woe unto you that go down to Egypt for help, man. OK, let's continue reading on a little bit of this. Um. In this article, it says some are pushing for an increase to the debt ceiling. Others think that the U.S. need to rein in its spreading. 
the debt ceiling explained. The debt ceiling is the maximum amount set by Congress that the government can borrow to cover its bills, right? And U.S., and that's the thing about America, man. America is only backed by, America is nothing but built off of debt. So when people come here, they say, oh, I want to have the American dream, all right? I want to live the American dream. Why? Because you can come here, you can get a job, you can go, think about it, you can go to the hospital, not have insurance, still be seen, may have to have a co uh, uh, a copay where you got to pay for your, your medicines and everything, all right? But then you now have a so-called debt that you have to pay back to, the, back to them. And that's with everything, okay? And then that's how they do with China and that's how they deal with all of these other nations. Oh, well, let me do this and we'll pay you for this as long as we can produce this, okay? So now they don't have any more money to pay out. They don't have enough money to flow that's flowing through America. So it's causing this society to collapse, man. You see? So what is the purpose of still trying to be in that, in that, in that, um, what's the purpose of trying to be in that energy or that time of mirth, man? Or that time of, 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 of laughter, okay? When you go into the book of Ecclesiastes, let's grab it real quick, man. Let's go to Ecclesiastes, I think that's five. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 5. No, it might be 7. Salakia, bear with me. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 5. I'm at 7 in verse 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it on his heart. Right, man. It is better to go into the house of mourning. And that's what the brothers that is out here on these highways and these byways that's been laboring, all right, in this truth. That's what they're doing. They're in the house of mourning. They're crying. They're sighing out. Like, how long, Lord? How long, Yahweh Ba Shimmy, Yahweh Shah? Are we going to have to continue to dwell in this captivity, to live in this hell, man? How long? So, brothers out here in the time, or, or, or brothers out here in the, are in the house of mourning, man. Then it says, then they go into the house of feasting. The house of feasting is going into that time of mirth. You know, like the, the days of Noah, where people were still marrying, by, or binding into marriage, having fun, partying, celebrating their holiday, you know, celebrating the paganism of the holidays, all right, celebrating their day that they were so-called born, okay? All those will be going into that house of feasting, man, okay? And the living will lay it on his heart. The living will lay it on his mind, on his la'a. Ah. Sorrow is better, verse 3. Sorrow is better than laughter for the sadness of the countenance for the Salakia. For, Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. Right. And that's you people out here that's thinking, all right. That's thinking that a Babylon is going to continue and forever live on. Like, oh, we got the greatest army in the world. Oh, we have, you know, we have all this money. They could constantly send this money over here and constantly send this money over there. This is showing you right now that they don't have any more money, man. This is showing you right now that the U.S. Department of Treasury is cutting America off from printing damn money, man. So what's going to happen next, man? They're going to roll over into they end, they, to their to their digital currency, which eventually is going to go into what? Let's grab this right quick, man. Let's go to Revelation 13. All right. Let's go to Revelation 13. We're going to get straight to it in verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a charagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the charagma or the number, I mean, Salaki, or the name of the beast or the number of his name, man. You see? So once they roll over this digital currency, man, you won't be able to buy and sell unless you take that charagma. So if there is no more money printing out, and you people, the scripture says that the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, yes, you got to go out. You got to work. You got to pay your bills. Okay. You have to, you know, get your daily bread. But don't, when, when the scriptures say for the love of money is the root of all evil, it's the things that men and both women do for money, man, that makes it evil. So you women out here that want to be fucking harlots, that's shaking your ass all on the damn camera. All right, they try to get some of the money for these OF bull craps that y'all have. That's that's going into the love of money is a root of all evil. You're doing evil wickedness. You're doing wicked doings to make money and thinking that it's okay. When the Lord ain't tell you to do that, man. That goes against the scriptures, man. 
according to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You see? We have a power we got to serve, man. Scripture say judgment must start at the house of the most high first, man. Okay? So judgment ain't going to start with these Edomites. Now, these Edomites going to get judged, man. Believe that. They will get judged. Their judgment comes to, but the Lord is going to start with us first. Us meaning the Israelites, man. Yasha Allah, you Negroes, has, you Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Judgment is going to start there first. So wouldn't you rather be in the right mindset than be in the, than the wrong mindset? Get your mind together, Yasha Allah. Let's read a little bit more, man. It says, this includes social security payments, military salaries, and more. The debt ceiling was first in, enacted in 1917 and was originally set to $11.5 billion. In 1939, Congress created the first aggregated, aggregated debt limit, covering nearly all government debt and set it at $45 billion. It's important to note that raising the debt ceiling does not increase the amount the government is authorized to spend. So that goes to show you, too, that the Lord is sanctioning these things, man. Job 14 and 5. Let's grab it real quick. Let's grab it real quick, man. I don't want to make this too long. I got to get ready to head to the plantation. But this just popped up. Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So Sleazy E has a certain bound that he cannot pass. Okay? He had a certain time of rulership. And this goes to show you that his rulership is coming to an end. Why? Because he no longer has anything to keep his kingdom going, man. Okay? Once they took the gold off of... Once they took the gold... Once they took the U.S. So like, once they took the gold off the standard, all right, and the U.S. dollar was no longer backed by gold, that's when this world started collapsing. That's when this kingdom started collapsing. But at the end of the day, it's all in the hands of Yahweh by Shimei was shot, man. Okay? Because the scriptures also says that what? The kingdom is translated from one people to another, man. So that goes to show you what? That the world is getting ready to make the turn, man. Because Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, man. You see? So like, yo. Let's go back to it. Let's read it. It says, it keeps the government from defaulting on bills and obligations. It has already committed to pay. But the debt ceiling has increased before roughly 80 times since the 1960s, man. That goes to show you, man, that these devils, all they want is their, they want the money for themselves. So now you got these elites, Job 9 and 24, how the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You have these elites sitting over there with, with castles, man. Okay? These people have castles, man. They don't have houses. They have castles, man. You see? So they're sitting over here with their castles and all this damn money, and y'all are going broke. How? How, man? It goes to show you, man, that the Lord is sanctioning it. The Lord is sanctioning all of this because Sleazy E is about to come down, man. He's about to come down with his wrath, which he will implement his MOT to the B, okay? It will become mandatory, but you have to, you have to, have the spirit on you and the most high has to be dealing with you and lord will you know you act you're praying for the lord to not put the spirit on you to end up taking that karagma man you see because the head elders and apostles even said it that there's going to be some brothers even in the truth that's going to fall out and they're going to go and take the karagma because they're not going to be willing to do and endure until the end man Okay, they're going to get tired of it. The woman is going to be nagging in the ear. Kids are going to be constantly crying. It's going to get to a point where they're just going to say, man, I can't do this no more, man. They're going to get Why? Because they're not going to be in the spirit. They're not going to be girded up or built up in the spirit, man. Let's grab this precept right quick. Let's go to this. Uh, let's go to this. Second Edges 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition amongst men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. You see? So once this U.S. dollar collapsed, you've seen once again, you've seen what happened when Bank of America, everybody who had Bank of America was losing money. They was in a negative balance. People was about to go crazy. All right? But what's going to happen when 
you wake up one day and you go to try to log into your bank and they tell you that you got to call your bank and they tell you that we're implementing, we're going over to a digital currency. The only way for you to get your money is you got to go to this place and get the karagma. There's going to be sedition amongst men, man. There are going to be people out here fighting one another like enemies. You're going to see the stores getting raided because people are going to be trying to get whatever they can to get. Because they're not, you really think people are going to actually go and stand up and take this karagma? Now you do have some that will do so. But these Babylonians, man, they're so caught up in darkness to a point where... Their mindset is going to be, I got to get it how I live. So if it's going to be, if I got to go take it to make sure my family have it, that's what they're going to do, which is going to cause sedition amongst men. <clears throat> but I'm not going to get too much. I'm not going to get too much deeper into this article, man. I'm going to post a link in the description box. Lord willing, this video was edifying to you. If it was edifying to you, it'd be edifying to the elect. I'm going to close out and give all praises, all glory and honor unto the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, our truthful power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. A double honors to the head elders and apostles of great millstone that taught us his truth and rule well. Abide Babal, DTA, Soon, Quam Yasharala, Peace Israel. We're almost home, brothers and sisters. Hold on tight and do it to the end. Shalom.